Hello, art lovers. I'm joined again by my good friend Jeffrey. Hi, Jeffrey. Hello. And we'll be reading an artwork together by a little-known artist named Francisco Hayes. You can join us in this reading. Just find a link to an image nearby and click on it to see a larger image. I hope you enjoy it. You ready to go? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right, Jeffrey. First words that come to mind when you see this painting. Passionate, intense, right in the moment, just great. Of course. Now, what do you see that makes you say passionate and intense? The hands. It's, I, I'm drawn instantly to their hands. His hand on her face has a very gentle touch. And I Isn't his, his thumb right on right, right below her, her lip? Right. And he's just holding on ever so slightly. But her hand is the tension in her fingers and got a little bit of a grip going on in there. And she definitely looks like she's uh, definitely in a moment of passion there. And then something else for me that makes this intense is the way her torso is curved back against the force of his kiss. And he's enveloped her within his cloak and he's taken a step onto the, the steps to kind of take her whole body into his. Right, this looks almost like they've just run to meet each other. It looks almost a little surreptitious and it looks very in the heat of the moment. Heat of the moment and surreptitious are really good here. He has that hat on that is covering his eyes and hers as well. And that cloak. And all encompassing. Yeah. And very secretive. And this place they're in. I can't quite make this out. It doesn't look like a palace. It's stone, but... It looks like a back stairwell. It's not, uh, it doesn't look that well lit. It yeah. feels like this is off the beaten path of wherever this palace is. It's not, it's not a main corridor by any... No, the, the stonework seems to be uh, breaking down a little bit. The floor has cracks in it. It's very drab and dark and, yeah, not ornate in any way. This isn't uh, the showroom. Yeah. This is the back room. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a kind of... Yeah. A, a shadow. Ah, uh, yeah. Back in the background, there is a shadow, and it looks like the shadow of someone spying on them. Well, it heightens maybe the, the, the danger of this kiss. Yeah, the, the scandal of it. Yeah, obviously, they have gone to some place where they're suspecting that nobody will be there to see them kiss. But there is somebody there. So what do you think? they might have been talking about? Or would they have been saying words? How did they meet? I imagine no words in this scene that, that he is uh, somebody not of her rank. She's obviously dressed in a lot of uh, finery here and very done up. And he's coming in, looks like some type of very plain traveling cloak mm -hmm. with his traveling cap on. And he's just running to meet her. and. Wherever they've met in the past and fallen in love, this is, this is not the time for words anymore. They're just happy to see each other again. So you use the word illicit before, surreptitious and illicit. And I, that makes me think of connections to literature. So is there anything that comes to mind for you? Uh, this, to me, reminds me of the balcony scene in Romeo and Juliet, uh, which is... You just see the two of them meet again, and the kissing there is so passionate, and they know it's wrong, but... And maybe that's why it becomes even more passionate. Exactly. It's wrong. Prohibition always makes, and the danger always heightens the emotion of a situation. And you're getting that in every sense of this painting. You're seeing the two lovers here, no words, locked in an embrace and a kiss. And the added danger of the observer just makes that even more dangerous and illicit. It's, but it heightens the romance of it too. You know that they're willing to do whatever they have to do to see each other. 
and to keep their love alive. Maybe you can think of moments in your life where you have experienced this kind of passion. Or maybe you can think to yourself, this is the kind of passion that I want to experience. Thank you very much for sharing this artwork with us. Jeffrey, thank you for sharing it with me. Thank you. We look forward to sharing another one with you next time.